for some reason when I get in city creeks now I bypass a lot of trash and pick up a lot of glass and it's become so much fun that she goes with me that is my bride for those of y'all who don't know we are in a city creek looking for bottles and glass and anything trash related this sparks our interest now further downstream we have picked up a substantial amount of bottles from here yeah, there's a lot of broken stuff up here so far nothing whole yet but there is some older stuff. You know, that's 60s and 70s. It looks like a... God, what am I trying to say? Buffalo Rock. I thought I saw Buffalo Rock in there. So, you gotta always start off sentences with the word so. And like this is an early record for those who could not afford the whole album you get just the first couple of minutes of the song okay here's something we can look at here's something you can research oh that only says it doesn't show the thing but made in japan oh dishwasher safe i was trying to make that word dishwasher say oshwasher like it was japanese let's go Anyway, y'all know the routine. I'm trying to be more introductory on my introduction instead of jumping off in here like you've all been here before. Oh, you found one. So what is that? 70s or 80s. That is a Miller High Life beer. It is an older bottle. But, believe it or not, I've seen people sell these. And they sell them. And like that, you get it like this it's used for other things but I'm hoping there's quite an impressive Midland water snake in this pile and I'm hoping she doesn't slip down it is so hot I thought you're gonna carry an umbrella over me I'm getting sunburned There should be at least one snake in there. At least one. This is a neat spot. This is a new spot. I know I got pretty quick with the camera on that dig where Brandon and I went. I think a couple of y'all said something. Slow down, slinging the camera around. I just got excited. Sometimes I get overstimulated and lose my uh, ability to focus. You okay? $100 a bottle, there's no such thing. Nobody in their right mind will pay $100 for a bottle. <laughs> I see no bottles in here. Let's go this way. Well, let me look over here first. We are only doing our... Uh, Muck boots. There's the rest of the album right there. This is pretty neat, isn't it? That is cool. I think I should stop and take a real photograph.
Here's another creek coming in. She did the research on this one. Remember? I do remember. This is another creek. I'm torn. I said there's a bunch of them. She navigates Google Earth to find water and tells me which way to turn. Let's go in here. I'll get all the spider webs. Try to anyway. Wow, look at this. This is a no glasses for me. Well, I can't see the bottom better with my glasses on. It's nice. It's like 10 degrees cooler in here. Yeah, this is an easy walker. So far, there is not a piece of glass at all in this creek. Here's a brick. It's a three hole, no name. There's a little bit of trash and rebar. Guardrail. It'd be nice to stumble upon a nice bottle dump. I could get on the horn and say, uh, hey, Brandon, what dinner? How far do you want to go? If I go too far, the other creek is going to have to be a different video. I'm thinking there are too many uh, rocks in here for any bottle to survive. Oh, that's a uh, squirrel. I thought I heard a duck. I think squirrels have fur and ducks have feathers. That's the way I tell them apart when I see them. But I've seen furry ducks. And feathered squirrels. Where is my bride? She's taking her time. I, on the other hand, been jamming along. There's not gonna be a bottle in this okay so this is going to be it for sure the next hopefully the video right after this one will be the rest of the other creek where i know we're going to find a bottle or a piece of glass or something but don't give up yet hang on give me just a few more minutes Not a sign. Okay, a few more minutes. Let's go. 
remember that band I've told you this before there's a band that wrote a song a rock band it's before I was born in the 80s about this Def Leppard I get wisteria I have yet to see a snake, which concerns me. I did see a barely used Ziploc bag. Okay, this might be the end of the journey because this is gonna get slick. I do not want my bride to fall down. You find anything? She can't hear the words that are falling from my face, so. I guess we're turning around. If there's anything interesting on the way back, I'll turn the camera back on. This is a whole forest of wisteria. Nothing? She says no. All right, next break. Thanks for watching my videos. This is the encore. As someone put it, what is that? Oh, we gotta know. Okay, what is it? Name that beast. I think it's heavy. Pulley. Pushy. Who knows? Hey, there's a bar right there too. All right, I'm done. Thanks for some videos. Okay, she found something. She thinks it might be top of the bottle. No, that is a piece of brass. No, that's it is brass. It is a uh, key. It's ignition to 1960 Chevrolet stepside blue, rusty left fender. With curb feelers? And no, this is pre curb feeler days. Sometimes people ask me about there's an occasional long hair that grows off my earlobes when I was in the Navy. The ladies who cut my hair said, you too young to have this hair growing off your ears. So I told them it was my curb feelers. Helps me not bump into walls. Okay, now I'm done. Thanks for watching my videos.